Good morning, Garden family. Welcome to the Bulls Garden. This is the bull here. As you see, I just finished drilling holes in these containers here because we're going to build a eight foot garden bed out of these uh, containers here. And we're going to stick some uh, bamboo stakes on the sides and I'm going to construct a trellis. So the, uh, these plants here, so we can maximize space inside these containers here. And the plants can grow vertically up, up there, there to uh, give us more growing space there for the other plants there. Now this, this, this video here is a survival seeds collaboration, okay, for 2024. And this um, collaboration here is headed up by the Vineyard Chicks uh, bushcraft family and lazy days ahead so those are some nice channels go and check them out and um, so that you can uh, also you can also join this collaboration if you want there now with uh, the vineyard chicks uh, collaboration part of it we're gonna be growing butternut squash we're gonna be growing uh, some um, uh, these are Mariana tomatoes that I have here. Some Mariana tomatoes, as you can see, they're doing very nice there. We're gonna grow some pepperonzini peppers. They're little right now, but you know, they're gonna get there, right? And we're growing some butternut squash. We are growing some kidney beans and we're growing some um, walla walla onions and now that's that's the uh, survival seeds that we're going to be growing uh for the survival seeds 2024 on the vineyard side there also if you are into her herb gardens right you, you know you need those for your garden right the herbs there they they just season your food and whatnot you can check out and you can also join the collaboration with the herb sides on um, with Bushcraft Family. And he will be more than glad, if you reach out to him, he'll be more than glad to send you some seeds there and you can make an entry video and join that collaboration as well. It's all all pot. There's a lot of, there's a lot of um, prizes given out monthly on, on uh, the Vineyard Chicks uh, channel. If you check them out on Sundays, they're out on Sundays every Sunday and, and you can join it. every every Sunday we have a new um, guest that'll speak on survival seed uh, issues and whatnot so um, join the collaboration and have some fun with that okay so let's get back to this video here now like I said this this video is part of the collaboration and I'm gonna be growing this food here in these containers just for that. I'm gonna pick out a nice little sunny spot and I'm gonna uh, construct this con um, this container garden here. And you're gonna see these butternut squash grow up vertically and all the other plants growing in there. And the idea is there to get these plants to grow out, enjoy the food, grow something, um, cook something with this, this food that we're gonna grow in these containers here and also we're gonna harvest the seeds so that we can keep it going year and year on after that so out of all these we're gonna you know i'm not a i'm not um the biggest onion grower right but i'm gonna give it all i got there to get some onions there but all these others are peppers tomatoes the, the butternut squash and the beans there uh, i'm gonna um do very well with that so Anyway, let's construct this uh, container garden and um, have some fun. Garden is all about having fun while you're growing food, okay? So let's let's do that and let's have some fun together. All right, guys, so we have some really cool containers here. They're very durable, hardy containers there. And as you can see, they have these little flapping doors there on top. So I can, you know, at the, at, when I'm finished using them, uh, I can just, you know, go ahead and right, leave the soil in there, cover them up and protect the soil uh, for the season. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put these little boards out like this in front of it there. I'm gonna screw them, screw them in there so I can keep all the containers uh, together. 
so they're not moving around. They won't move around anyway once they have the soil in them, but you know, they'll look a little bit better and they'll be nice and tight. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put these little, screw these in to these right now so that, uh, trying to use my 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 power tool without the uh, battery stuck to it <laughs> All right, we'll line this up in a little bit. I think it's pretty uh, pretty straight. Let me back up here. Take a look from this end. All right, let's put the bamboo stakes in here now and, uh, and then we'll go ahead. I'm not gonna use either cow, cattle panel or the bamboo after all. I realize I have a line long uh, trellis over there that I've had for about two years. I'm going to go see how long it is and I'm going to probably utilize that. All right. And then after that, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, gather up the materials that we're going to put in here, the twigs, logs, uh, some uh, old wood chips, and we'll go about halfway with that. And then the rest of the, the ray, we'll, we'll use some, um, some uh, garden, other garden materials, compost and whatnot to uh, get, get the materials that we need to start this off. All right, we got some bamboo here and we have the trellis line long. Let's see how, how big this is. I mean, I've had this laying around for a couple years and so I don't even know how long it is or none of that. Man, it's like a fishing net. All right, I think it's, I think it'll work. Yeah, okay, I thought it was shorter than that, but um, we're gonna make it work, we're gonna make it work. All right, big pain, big pain, big pain, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make it work. Let's go ahead and cut these to size and get them in the ground and square this off, and then we'll mess around with that. I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie that in because I already can tell it's gonna be, you know, a little work.
this piece right here will be to grow across there. And this piece down here will be the lower part. Them little screws that I put up there, just temporary, just to hold it up, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna wire it so it stays nice and strong. I'll come back with a plier and tighten it up really nice. Looking pretty good so far, right? Nice and quick. Beautiful um, planter here to plant all, all your uh, vegetables that you need and quick little trellis there to, uh, to provide more space for you. All right, here comes the hot pot. <laughs> All right, it's a lot longer than I need, but what I'll do is, instead of destroying it, I'm gonna just tuck this pot in here. There you go, she's all, she's all constructed now. All we gotta do now is just uh, give her some, um, give her some uh, materials there so that we can grow some food in, okay? So that's, that'll be the next step. And then we'll get the plants in. So these uh, holes down there won't get all clogged up and uh, it'll help with drainage. And still, you know, the water can creep out and also worm can still creep in and get through those, uh, through those rocks. Trust and believe. You don't need a whole bunch of soil to grow food, all right? So uh, stop wasting your money and building your, you know, well, let me step back. 
it, just in case if you're, you're growing some long tap root plants, then yes. But um, in this case here, what I'm growing here, I'm just growing some um, butternut squash. I'm growing some um, some onions and things like that. They're not gonna go down that far. So, you know, six, seven, eight inches of soil is plenty. You don't have to have a foot, two feet deep of soil. You know what I'm saying? All right guys, so I have my rocks in. I'm gonna walk around the property there with my, my wheel wagon and uh, we're gonna go ahead and gather up some uh, some uh, rotted out materials that are just laying around and we're gonna get them in here, okay? And then we're gonna get some uh, compost from my garden back there and we're gonna bring it almost to the top. Work that in. Then we're gonna hit it up with some uh, black cow on top. We're gonna black it with, with black cow on top. Work that in, and then we'll we'll do some bone bone meal, some blood meal, and uh, ten 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 when the time comes necessary. Okay, and we'll then get the plants in there. Okay, that'll be the next step. All right, guys, so here we have some broken down whip chips, right? Loaded with worm, uh, uh, worms, of course, uh, mushroom activity, uh, my, uh, mycorrhizae, uh, fungi, and uh, mycelium, all that kind of stuff is, is all in here. I can see all the roots from the mycelium all up in here. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna pour this in here, okay? eventually work itself and go all up in the creases and whatnot and um, a lot of airflow in there 
then we, you know, of course, we got all the worms and the bacteria and all that stuff that's going to be working for us in here in these containers. This is a live soil, right? This is not like basic uh, topsoil from your bags and whatnot that's dead, right? This is live, live stuff just full of life in it. All right? I brought two, I don't, I, don't, I don't need them, so I'm gonna just put these other two to the side here and use them for another project. Not so much for that one. Fell all, all over my tools. All right, all right, so we're gonna get some of this bull's compost. Get that up in here. All right, that's good enough there. Now, the only thing to be left to uh, add here is some black cow, and of course, uh, my uh, bone meal, blood meal that I added here. So that'll be the next step. Then I put the plants in. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of pond water in here and settle all these air pockets in there. All right, we 
got all the air pockets out of there now. We're gonna go ahead and uh, layer with some black cow, working in a little bit, fertilize it up and get the plants in. All right, time to get the plants in. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna put the butternut squash toward the center and the back because they'll, they'll grow up and spread out. So we'll put those kind of toward, toward the center. Looking good. All right, put you right there. All right, we're hitting them up with some blood meal and some bone meal. Bone meal to give those roots a compact power and get them nice and strong, right? We got our blood meal there to make the plant vigorous and grow.
that butter squash right there that I put right there, she's not looking too hot. So I'll probably put a couple seeds on the sides of them just in case they, you know, she decides to drop out of the game. But the other two look really good. All right, so, so far over here, right, we got the tomatoes, uh, Mariana tomatoes, we got the uh, butter uh, nut squash, we have the pepperonzinis, so those are three. Then we have the, um, I'll bring those over here. Of the kidney beans so the kidney beans will be right there and what else we got uh there's one two three four oh we have the beets right here um as you can see they're growing what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop some beet seeds in here so that i don't have to disturb these ones over here okay but we'll we'll leave them right out front here so we can see them and we have the walla walla onions And we have the Walla Walla onions right there. I'm gonna go ahead and let the little Walla Walla onions get a little bit bigger. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna transplant them into the container over here. So, all right, so that's a wrap. That's how you get a container garden with a trellis going here and you grow a lot of food right here in this tight little space, right? So. Um, it's going to be nice when these plants are growing. It's going to look really, really nice. So anyway, thank you for tuning in with me. Uh, don't forget to go ahead and check out the Vineyard Chicks, Bushcraft Family, and Lazy Days Ahead. And check uh, on Sundays at 6 o'clock, um, every week on Sunday at 6 o'clock, Vineyard Chicks go live and we talk about um, survival seeds collaboration okay and we have a lot of fun and a lot of giveaways okay so all right y'all take care much love from the bull peace